The origin of Christmas. So far birthday and so far Halloween. They are both pagan related. What is the origin of Christmas? The date of December 25th comes from Rome and was a celebration of the Italic god Saturn and the rebirth of the sun god. Listen carefully. It all refers to the sun, the gods and so forth. This is the origin of Christmas now. This was done long before the birth of Jesus. Christmas. It was noted by the pre-Christian Romans and other pagans that daylight began to increase after December 22nd when they assumed that the sun god died. These ancients believed that the sun god rose from the dead three days later as the newborn and venerable sun. Thus, they figured that to be the reason for increasing daylight, this was a cause for much wild excitement and celebration. This is Christmas now, how it began. Gift giving and merriment filled the temples of ancient Rome as sacred priests of Saturn carried wreaths of evergreen boughs in procession. That's where the tree comes from originally. And you know what the tree soon in Charlotte is when I define it. In Germany, the evergreen tree, so we know what the Christmas was originally, was used in worship and celebration of the Yule God. What is the Yule God? The Christmas God. That's what the Yule God is, the Christmas God to them, to these same people still. Also in observance of the resurrected sun God. The evergreen tree was a symbol of the essence of life and was regarded as a symbol in fertility worship. Which means, why would they place a tree in their homes or why would they worship the tree? <laughs> because they believe it provides life. It provides life. That's the essence of it. You know the Arzi in Lebanon? You know the Arzi in Lebanon? You know the flag, the Lebanese flag? And you see the Arza? Where a lot of Lebanese Muslims wear on their rings and chains? That is a symbol of paganism itself. This is worshipped in Lebanon, in the Ards, the Christians, the Maronites, they worship this tree and this. Many, many, many Lebanese Muslims do not know this. Yet they wear it on their ring and on their chains and so forth necklaces, believing that it is the symbol of Lebanon. It is not. It's a worshipped idol symbol. It is not allowed for a person to wear such evil. And this tree is no different, exactly the same. It's a worship thing. Witches and other pagans regarded the red holly. What's the red holly? A red holly. <laughs> when you see the tree, you see it decorated with what? Like a red balls and leaves coming out, extra leaves that they place on it. That red holly, the little red balls, you see that? Witches and other pagans regarded that red holly as a symbol, look at his stupidness, as a symbol of the menstrual blood of the Queen of Heaven, also known as Diana. <laughs> as the symbol of a, uh, of the menstrual blood of the Queen of Heaven, subhanAllah. How filthy is that? The white berries, this is the tree, right? We've got the tree now. Now we're looking at the red holly. We've got that. Now what else is on the tree? Besides the lights. Even the lights, wallahi, is a pagan belief. The lights that they put on it and where you see in many houses exposed in the front, this is all witchcraft. The white berries of the mistletoe. What's the mistletoe? The white berries of mistletoe were believed by pagans to represent droplets of the semen of the sun god. <laughs> And they do believe that, the, as uh, Umar Allah mentioned, that they believe that if you stand underneath it and kiss your spouse, you will be connected for life. You will be connected with contact cement. Uh, 
regardless how much problems you have with her, you will be connected for life. That is their belief as well. Let us leave this junk out and go to the bottom. The word Christmas is a combination of the words Christ and Miss. The word Miss means death and was coined originally by the Roman Catholic Church and belongs exclusively to the Church of Rome. The ritual of the Mass involves the death of Christ and the distribution of the host, a word taken from the Latin word hostile, meaning victim. A simple study of the tactics of the Roman Church reveals that in every case the Church absorbed the customs, traditions and general paganism of every tribe culture and nation in their efforts to increase the number of people under their control. In other words, they created this in order to gather, gather people. They did not care whether it's a Christian belief, they did not care if it's an authentic belief, a genuine ritual. All they wanted was crowds. That is what they mentioned. All they wanted was crowds. Because now Christmas, if you see the churches, it's jam-packed. Even though it's not their belief, because Christmas, even in the Bible, to the Christian belief, they believe that Jesus was born when? The Christian belief is, any person will tell you this, the Christian belief that Jesus was born sometime in September. That's what they believe. But the followers of Christianity have been deceived and deceived and deceived with many, many, many false beliefs because their religion is based on what? Blind following. You cannot understand, they say to you, you must believe. As when I asked the concept Trinity when I first embraced this term myself and I asked for the concept of Trinity, I went to the priest, I asked him, I want to know about Trinity. What is Trinity? You know, I said to him, uh, how can you believe that God is the Son, God is the Father, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost? And yet you say that God is one, and yet you say then three of them are, is one, yet each one is God. He said to me, oh my son, this is about 12, 13 years ago, oh my son, you've got to believe the way it is, you will not understand it. I said to him, why didn't you ask him, did God send a religion to guide me or to confuse me? And he just shut up. He was just quiet. Oh, my son. Oh, my son. Son the bra of the... Oh, my son. The true meaning of Easter. The true meaning of Easter. That's just a created story in order to gain more customers. Can I show you how many customers they have? How much money have they made for Santa? Isn't the whole... Bible these days, a money maker. So as time goes on, that's why you always see the newly edition or the newly uh, edited or the new version because they always create in order to make, as Allah says in the Quran, money. 